Hello, welcome to your weekly dosage of power presentation. My name is Leon Chisholm and it is my aim to share with you pointers that will empower you as you go throughout your week. Today our subject is Pay Attention to the Mirror. Many individuals will often use the mirror to check out their appearance, especially when leaving home to go to work or a function of great interest. If the mirror shows up something that is out of place, then more often than not, they try to make the adjustment as best as they can. Similarly, we all need to pay attention to the mirror of life, the things that constantly give us a true reflection of where we are and who we are at present. Life has a way of bringing us indicators, pointing us to the things we need to adjust or give more attention to. But our attention is needed to see them as they don't always announce themselves. For example, prolonged frustration in a job might just be telling you that you have outgrown the environment or the demands of the job is forcing you to grow and you are not willing to do so. As you listen, I pray that you reflect on various aspects and approaches to life you might have taken to see if you are heading in the direction or the destination you had in mind. How often have we heard people repeat their philosophy towards life, then look at their life and notice that the philosophy and how they live are worlds apart. What we should all know is that our philosophy is reflected in the way we live, not just what we say. We sometimes get carried away thinking our philosophy is a nice thought, not realizing that our philosophy permeates our being. Hence, it is important that we pay attention to what we are becoming as we traverse this life. Does your words match your actions? And if so, to what extent? The mirror of life is self-awareness, knowing who you are in the light of a limitless God. It is the same thing as self-education, which I believe is the greatest education one should aspire to. Why is awareness in the light of a limitless God important? The answer is revealed in the words of Charles Schwab, who said, When a man has put a limit on what he will do, he has put a limit on what he can do. The more we become aware, the more we will see the limitations we impose on ourselves. Limiting ourselves is a direct result of the value judgments we hold on to. We are more affected by what we think of ourselves than anything else in this world. Value judgment is key to the psychological development and motivation of an individual. Value judgment is even more critical to personal development. As no one, and I mean no one, can develop into a better version of themselves unless there is a belief that they are worth the effort and the energy needed to develop oneself. Simply put, am I worth the time I spend on me? Of course, everybody will say yes, I am worth the time I spend on myself. But do their actions confirm what they say? Napoleon Hill made this statement, and I quote, If you place a small value on yourself, rest assured, the world will not raise the price. Therefore, if you are not getting the results you believe you should be getting, it is time for introspection. It is time to take out the mirror of self-awareness to see if what you are becoming, the person you need to become, so you can have the results that you want. Because oftentimes, we are heading down a particular path, and the person that we are becoming will not get us the result we want 
because the two are heading in opposite directions. Here's a little bit of truth. You can't run from who you are. Therefore, if you don't like who you are, you have to start working and changing who you are. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Blessed love.